you yeah. know the it, it there's like a theme here but like the importance of like knowing yourself like knowing what you want to do are capable of doing and the things that you don't want to do or your weaknesses and yeah. i wonder if like if there's a way i don't know how old you guys are but we must be like in our mid 30s right or 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 late 30s whatever it is right and i don't know and anyway i wonder <laughs> if <laughs> i wonder if there was a way for like like how would how would so, you know i have kids so i'm i'm just kind of curious like how how do you think there would have been a way to like learn this sooner you know i'm aside from just saying life experience you know well but you know i'll answer first and then i'll give a perspective <laughs> on this me i'll answer oh no, the, i don't know i'm just, I'm just thinking out loud i'm just i have a perspective this which is like it may not matter it matters for making money because you have to use your strengths for making money. I mean, you have to survive in this world. You have to solve the money problem and you have to make use of your strengths for that. Right. But in terms of like, you know, living life, I mean, does it matter if you're actually like uh, not the best in like what you're doing? You know, it's like, why would you not pursue something interesting? Well, no? Well, okay. Argument on, on that would be like, it actually matters in like, let's say relationships with other people. Like a lot of people just have no idea who they are and continuously have uh, bad relationships, relationships after bad relationships after bad relationships. And a lot of it is because they don't know themselves. Like, oh, yeah. well, uh, like so for example, is, yeah, it's definitely like go, go. people should know themselves. People should mm -hmm. realize who they are. And I think the traditional methods are like, for instance, you know, meditation, self-awareness, uh, having friends, you know, talking with friends, you know, uh, people who actually tell you who you are, you know, I mean, being lucky to have good parents to 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 help you do that. Um, but you know, it's like, but the actual pursuit of you know projects of things in this world, it's like, I don't think your weakness should be a major obstacle. It's like, I want to do this. I think I'm called to do this. And, you know, maybe it will take you 10 years more than a guy who is strong at this area. But, you know, I, I think, think this, is, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. No? Mm. But I think here's the thing, like, and this is going to be like a really broad assumption. So I fully expect to be shot down. Um, but um, when, when we're kids, right, and Carlo, you're probably the same. You, you never want to tell your kid that they can't do something and you never really want to tell them, Hey, you're shit at this. Stop doing it. You know what I mean? Um, you, you want to support them if they want to do something, you know, like go do it. You know, you you know, mm. if you come second, you're like, Hey, good try. You know, you're doing really good. You know, you want to support them. But also that for me, uh, like, you know, obviously for me, I feel like that with that breeds that, and it was, I had it, you know, it breeds kind of that, um, like self-centeredness if you know what i mean like um mm. it's almost like feeling um feeling like you can do absolutely anything you know and not seeing you know failure as a learning experience because you're shielded from it often you know and it wasn't until i really failed like super hardcore failed that i was mm. triggered to go you know what I'm really not this person. Like I can't do this. And then trying to figure out what my limitations were. Mm. And I feel like that maybe needs to come in earlier in maybe even the education process. You know what I mean? Where it's like, maybe even in school, it's like being taught these tools, but then also like allowing kids to do something really hard and fail at it. You know? Well, I, I actually agree right. with that, man, because parents, I don't think, I don't think parents would know. I, I mean, don't think not... parents can do that, though. I think it would have to be something external. Man, the the world know? will beat you up, man. But so that's the, the parents but... should just nourish you. But because I mean, like everyone else will tell you your weaknesses. You know, when you go out there, you will experience it. There's no escape from that. You know, if you do something, you will experience your limitations. 
Yeah. But the question was, how do you get that earlier? Because while you're still with your parents, you're being shielded from it. Yeah, that's the constraint of the question. <laughs> no, the... <laughs> <laughs> you will, for instance, if you go to kindergarten, you will experience those things. Any, yeah, yeah. any, any interaction with uh, the world will teach you your limitations. And it's, I, I, I think the role of the parents is giving you the mindset that you could work on yourself, that it is not, you know, it's like you're not limited by, you know, by that, those labels, that this is who you are, that you right. can change. I think it's the I think it's the role of parents, man. You know, it's not it's not to to put their kids in boxes like this is who you are. No, it's like okay, if you want to be this, you work in it. So I think the one one uh, or perspective that I've heard, and I saw this being implemented by a, by a very um, high uh, very uh, what you call this effective manager I know who's a mother yeah. now, and I saw her. Uh, mentioned this in Facebook to her kid. She didn't say that he was talented. She didn't, uh, or anything like she was great. So she said, "You work hard for this," and you know she, I, she praised that. So the it's the um, it's the action, the thing that is actionable. It's, you know, it's emphasis on the effort. Think. Yeah, I would I would agree with that. You know, um, I just feel like there are a lot of parents out there now that probably shield people away from that failure or you know if they get rewarded for something like they don't focus on the effort they just focus on rewards right you know so I've, yeah I, I i can tell you that uh, at least for me and my wife we've made like a we've really made an effort to to uh to reward effort to reward them just trying and it's because you're you're right, Robert. That uh, there is an overemphasis on um, what's the word? You know, like when you win something, and and I think it's called on, on reward. Okay, it's like cuddling, <laughs> <Sure>. right? <laughs> like yeah, because like for I think it's uh, honestly it's probably going to be easy for me to do this to my kid because Kyla's also right because. I struggled when I was a kid, man. Like I struggled in school. Uh, just going to school was difficult, and it was a challenge every day. And I, it it really felt like, uh, well, you know, at least once a quarter that I would fail at something, right? Particularly Filipino, and <laughs> you know, the so like the world will tell you. And uh, but I think but I remember back then there really was like an overemphasis, especially for like for like my generation, like on on results, you know, like doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter how hard you tried. But if you but if you did like number one and then you didn't try at all, big celebration, no, as opposed to. You know, you didn't do well, but you tried your hardest, and then like nobody cared. And uh, yeah, so yeah, I don't know. I don't. I was. I'm not really going anywhere with that. But basically, that's <laughs> yeah, what I the, get the, the, yeah. the society will tell you that uh, all that matters is being number one. Like you know, in in uh, in high school, uh, there's a term in Cebuano called nanning. Nanning is like uh, you know, it's like you're you're putting in a lot of effort. So the guy who is the coolest is the one who puts the least effort, but still is like uh, at the top or something like that. So yeah, it was a derogatory um, term. Like you did not exactly. want to be nanning. You did your yeah. best to show that you were not trying hard at all. <laughs> that's that's so <laughs> counterintuitive. No, dude. Like yeah, but, it was a real yeah. thing in high school. Yeah, you know, the coach so, tells yeah, you to so. run, and then you run, but try not to like. Show that I was you're a running dork that in far. high school. I was a total dork. I would try hard in everything. <laughs> oh yeah, well, oh, man. in our high school, it was the opposite. Probably in <laughs> oh, Don God. Bosco as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's not a bad idea. I mean, like if in high school you like uh, they started introducing these kind of tools for self-assessment, because what do they do now? Like, is there anything like that done now? 
I don't think I don't the, know, my kids no, are it has to be with three the parents, and five. Man. The school system is just there to um, to be what you call this, to, so that parents could work. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah, yeah. You deposit we, your kids. And, we used to have like uh, MBTI in in high school, actually. That's it, it was, I, we just knew our results, and that's it. There was no I, like no one guided you on how to use them. Yeah. So because there was like not, yeah. Yeah, there was like a checklist somewhere that hey, you have to do MBTI. Okay, I did it. Chuk. But were we actually trained on it and how to use it? And did did it help us understand ourselves better? It didn't happen. I doubt I doubt high schoolers would listen anyway. So yeah, it's like if, I mean, yeah, like, I'll be like whatever. Like, <laughs> yeah, you're also your brain is still developing. I mean, it's like yeah. it's actually physical. Like the way yeah, yeah. the reason why teenagers have less self control than older people is like there's actually a physical. They physically uh, can't have self-control needs. at the same level. Yeah, like the prefrontal cor- cortex isn't that developed yet. So yeah. it's uh, it's not just like an attitude or something. Were they saying well, like uh, like male brains don't stop developing until 25 or something? Like you're immature until then? <laughs> well, uh, like that. I, that's true. It's possible for some people. 